So our first game of the weekend is between Rutgers and Minnesota. It's their third meeting. Minnesota leads the series two to nothing. So Minnesota is undefeated against Rutgers and Minnesota is favored in this game by 14 and a half points. Wow. So you can see there Rutgers is working on a 4-3 season and Minnesota is working on a 4-3 season. After three losses in a row, Rutgers finally logs a win against Indiana. Just two more and they're bowl eligible, and that's going to be tough given their remaining schedule. They've got Michigan, Michigan State, Penn State, and Maryland, not to mention Minnesota this weekend. Crickshanks, the wide receiver, is probably about the only decent player with any kind of production on Rutgers' team. Otherwise, they're outclassed by Minnesota in virtually every category. Do you see anything Rutgers can do to turn this game in their favor? No, I, not really. I mean, it's it's good that they snapped the uh, – It's how was it put? The Big Ten home game losing streak. That's mm-hmm. that's what – they they snapped that against Indiana. So I guess I can't really remember the last time they won a Big Ten game, period. So I'm guessing that the road streak is still going on, the road losing streak. Yeah. But, yeah, apparently they, they snapped the home losing streak to Indiana. So that was that was interesting. But, I mean, Rutgers has just so very far to go before they can be even a little bit competitive. And I'm saying that knowing that they'll probably never reach the heights of like Ohio state or Michigan, you know, not in any like long-term sense, but yeah, I, I think this season they're going to be lucky to get bowl eligible. And I don't think that they're going to come any closer to that this weekend. Yeah. It looks like, no. well, yeah, I, there are three big, ten, well, there are four big 10 games this season they lost to Iowa, Ohio State, and Nebraska. Iowa and Nebraska were home games. Nebraska was only by one point, but uh, Iowa was uh, 17 points. Mm-hmm. The other side of the equation, Minnesota. Minnesota has the same record as Rutgers, but uh, at one time they led the West Division. Now Minnesota is a game behind Purdue and Illinois. Uh, They took a beating from Penn State last week. It was at 45-17. And before that, they lost to Purdue and Illinois. They need two more to be bowl eligible. Looking at their schedule, they've got plenty of opportunity because they've got Nebraska, Northwestern, and Iowa coming up. They'll end the season against Wisconsin, but Wisconsin appears to have turned things around. So QB Tanner Morgan didn't play last week, right? But he did. Right. Uh, he was dressed. He was at the game. He just didn't play. Um, mm. So chances are he'll be back this week, I would think. Uh, the backup, and I'm got to apologize for if I mispronounce his name. I think it's Kaliakmanis. Wow. Um, he didn't do so well last week. Obviously, that's uh, like I said. It's, it was a 45-17 loss. If Morgan isn't back this week, can Minnesota win this game? Yeah. Yeah, Minnesota's going to win this game either way. I mean, Rutgers is just – they're they're too weak an opponent right now. And I know, like, Minnesota's had some, you know, head-scratching losses these last three weeks. I mean, especially considering with, like, how they started the season. So I, I think that they're going to get back on the right track against Rutgers. And honestly, like, if, if Minnesota's season were in a different – light right now like if they didn't have three the three losses then I'd I'd have a little bit more to say about them right now but I'm just I'm kind of confused by them because they started things off so strong like defensively they were really strong offensively they were even stronger and it just seems like these last couple of weeks they haven't been able to stop anything and then they also haven't been able to go anywhere so I think that like Minnesota is starting to become a lot like Wisconsin like how we talked about Wisconsin at the beginning of the season, that they look a lot better than they really are. And they always start off with some sort of expectations just to end up falling off in, in their late October, November games. So I, to me, it, it indicates a, a serious lack of depth on the roster for, for Minnesota, but I still think that they'll win this game. All right. Uh, so as I said, this this week with the uh, score predictor, I did I did try to factor in a fourth quarter drop off. Okay. Uh, I just kind of just kind of made a guess as to how that would work. I'm gonna hopefully over the uh, off season I'll finesse this. I'll go back through the games and come back and see what I can do. But uh, 
using the fourth quarter drop off that I came up with, I think I've got more realistic scores this week. Although, as we saw on the spreadsheet, I guess I didn't do too bad last week, but yeah. <laughs> I've got uh, Minnesota over Rutgers 35 to seven. Okay. Yeah. Which seems plausible to me. Yeah. Well, I almost completely agree with you. I myself am taking the Bucktooth Bandits 35 to 10. 35 to 10. All right. Yeah. The Bucktooth Bandits. The Bucktooth Bandits. And all I'm right. gonna I'm gonna save my scores this time and not throw them out. Not throw them out. <laughs> yeah, that's my bad. 